everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and the Days of Fortune is our brand new event from January 29th to February 11th. So in this video, I'm going to go over everything having to do with this event. We're going to check out all the new stuff and, of course, all of the cosmetics. Every new little event thing. So to start off in the aviary village, we have this little setup here. It's pretty cute. We have the dragon on some sticks. We have these lanterns. Hey, buddy. We have some fireworks and some oranges set up outside the event shop. And if we go in, this is kind of our one stop for everything event related. So this is, of course, where we can find our event guide and all of the previous items and cosmetics for the last few years of Days of Fortune. Ooh, suddenly a lot of people. So we can get all of our spells in the middle from this box. We can also purchase all of the previous in-app purchases, if you like to, from these two spirits here. So lots and lots of stuff that you can collect. But of course, this event also brings a ton of free or in-game currency items. Um, based on the uh, Chinese Zodiac for the Lunar New Year. So here we have the Auspicious Visitor, and this year we have the brand new Dragon Mask for the Year of the Dragon. You will have to unlock some of these blessings to get some of these upper nodes, and these older items that we can find on top of this Spirit's Tree will cost candles, whereas the new items, we have the Dragon Mask and the Drum, those will cost event currency, which we can find every single day in uh, the new event area. Well, not so new. For this year, the event takes place in the Valley of Triumph. So I'm sure most of us are very, very familiar with that place. We can, of course, walk the portal or we can teleport from this spirit here. And this is our event area. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. We can also get some event currency here every single day. I do have a video on that if you're looking for it. Um, in this middle section here, we have an option to become a dragon head, and that means that we can kind of lead a trail of Sky Kid dragons. Um, so I'll show you what that means in just a sec when we meet up with some other players. We can also get this year's spells right here from this little chest with the uh, fireworks. You can get the, um, the new earrings, the outfit, the cape, and of course the drum and the mask. Lots and lots of new stuff. Look how cute it is. Little dragon head. There is a white option and a black option. I believe it depends on if you already have a white one in your server, but I could be wrong. Oh, and there's someone. Oh, hang on, let me see. Let me find someone and we will link up with them and become a dragon. There's someone. So if you have this uh, dragon head on, you will have to cancel the spell. So you open the inventory and cancel the spell in the bottom left corner. And then you should have the option to link up with anyone who is wearing this dragon head spell. So it's pretty cute. We just follow them. Adorable. And you can link up with a total of eight players, as many players as can fit in your server. You can have a long, long line of dragons. Another function that becomes active during this event is the ability to gift friends five hearts at once. So this is pretty high up in the friendship tree. It's next to the carry node, and it costs 14 regular candles. Giving them this envelope gives them five hearts at once, and it's pretty nice. You can only do it once per day for a friend, much like the regular heart trading. Yeah, it's a pretty nice boost for your friends who might be short on some hearts, maybe for a cape they're saving up for. Rather than trading one heart every single day for five days, you can just give them all at once. It's pretty nice. And of course, the regular heart trade node is still available, even though this one is closed for the day for this particular friend. So if you really wanted to, you could gift your friend six hearts in a day. But uh, that is a little overkill. That's a lot of candles. Here you go, Stinky. On the hour, every single hour, we have a dragon event that takes place in the event space. So you can see this big dragon has appeared. Don't worry, they're still here this year as well. And of course you can ride them, you can fly around with them, and it also looks pretty funny because we are dressed the exact same as them. This dragon is going to fly around the top part here for about two to three minutes, and then a race will commence. And in that race, we can fly down to the ice rink below, and then from there, the dragon will circle around. It'll be dropping some fireworks so we can get some wax that way. 
and we can also visit with some spirits down there. So after dancing around with this dragon for about three minutes, event tech will enable, and that means that we'll be able to see sky kids that are within other servers or other instances. There they are. We can also use those Aurora emotes at the bottom, the wow and the heart and the star and the cry. We have a countdown, and that is when our dragon race begins. So you can see these little dragons at the front those are players in other servers. Normally we'd have those little ghost sky kids, but these ones are very cute. You can also see when they're attached to other sky kids. And then we go. The fastest way to win this race is to, well, I suppose there's no winning, but stay on the back of the dragon and you'll go down very fast. There is no reward for winning this race. It's just all, all in good fun with your friends. And here we go, almost at the bottom. I have seen other servers that were a lot more full than this one, so maybe yours will be a little more exciting, but it's kind of nice recording in a much smaller, less busy server. Here we are. So the spirits have left the top of the dragon, and they have sat down over here. A good opportunity to take some pictures with them if you'd like to. Otherwise, the dragon is going to kind of circle around here. It'll drop some fireworks, so those will drop on the ground. You can light them. And basically, we just get to skate around and earn some wax. It's pretty fun. And of course, listen to the amazing tune of the dragon. Link up with some friends. Create the world's longest dragon. Yeah. Pretty fun little event. It's a good way to spend a few minutes and get some wax, honestly. It's a lot of fun, especially with a lot of players in your server. So that's most of the activities for this event. Now we're going to go over all of the cosmetics and their pricing. I'm going to start with the new items and then go on to the previous and older items. And those will be a lot more fast paced and I'll kind of combine items because there's a lot now. So to start off, we have the Dragon Mask to celebrate this year's Year of the Dragon for 14 event currency. It's so well detailed, so well sculpted, and it matches the other fortune uh, animal masks amazingly. It's just perfect. It fits in great. And then we have an instrument for free, which is the Fortune Drum for 34 event currency. On your back, you'll see you have some drumsticks. Maybe mallets might be the right word. And then we can touch these four notes and play the drum. As always, the animation when you spam it looks pretty funny. Bada 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 bada. Yeah, this big drum that just appears out of nowhere. A lot of fun. And of course, it looks pretty funny when you run around with it. For our brand new paid items, we have the bangle earrings for $1.99 USD. I think these are really ornate, really beautiful, I love the red in them. And I also love that it looks like there is a pearl dangling on the bottom. Very pretty. The red and the gold will match with so many cosmetics in the game. And then we have the stole cape for $14.99 USD. This is just so cool, the way it's bundled, and of course the uh, spikes along the back. The dragon winged light, such a unique design and it's very reminiscent of a dragon, of course. And then we have the dragon vestment outfit. This one is also very dragony, obviously. Uh, we have these thick gloves, as if you're handling dragons yourself. On the bottom you can also see there are some scales. And if we float up, I believe the tips of the toes are kind of pointed. I'm not sure why I like that small detail. This outfit and the cape, of course, are made for each other, but you can always try them on in the aviary shop. And then we have the returning cosmetics. 
Starting from our oldest ones, we have the orange hair accessory, which is probably one of my favorite hair accessories, and the bowl mask for 56 regular candles. Cute, simple. This bowl mask might be my favorite of all of the uh, animal masks from Fortune. It's so detailed. And then we have the lion headdress, which is actually a hairstyle for 66 regular candles. Adorable, very fluffy ears. They waggle while you walk. Precious. And then up next, we have the wool hat. This is also a hairstyle for $9.99 USD. You can see the detail in the stitching. It's meant to look handmade. It almost reminds me of a feast item, like a more Christmassy item than a fortune one, but hey. We have the fortune pack bundle for $24.99. Pretty pricey, but it does come with three items. We have the pigtail hair, the blushing mask, and the fortune cape. I have to say, I think this is one of my favorite hairstyles in the game. I love it so much. It's so cute, so dainty, and I do wear it all the time. But it's pretty pricey if you're just going for the hairstyle. You have to be sure you like all the other three items as well. And then we have the fish accessory for $1.99 USD. That is a hair accessory. And the tiger mask for $58. This is from the Year of the Tiger. Really adorable. I love the shape of the tiger's mouth. It's so well done. And then we have the fish pack bundle. This is probably one of my favorite outfits in the game. Just combined, they're perfect. This comes with a fish hood, which is actually a hairstyle. It also has these cute bangs and all that in the front and the fish scarf cape, and they just fit together so perfectly. They're adorable. I love this one. Now for the last year's items, uh, Year of the Rabbit, we had a bit of an enchantment theme. So the rabbit mask is 62 regular candles. The muralist smock is $9.99 USD, and this is based on the muralist from the season of enchantment. It also had some pom-poms on the feet, and of course, a bunny tail on the back. We then have the Enchanted Umbrella for $14.99 USD. Absolutely gorgeous color, and it has that hanging tassel on the bottom. Open it up, and it's umbrella time. So this will protect you from rain. So cute! The top of it is etched kind of similarly to the muralist smock. It's meant to be, you know, some etchings that you would see on the Forgotten Ark. If you are looking to get an umbrella, I do recommend that maybe you check out some of the beta spoilers because there is a new umbrella coming and it is pretty cool. Um, you can always save your money for that one if you would prefer. I'll link it below. And yeah, that is everything for the Days of Fortune. Such a fun event. I always love the decorations. I love seeing that dragon swim around in the air and just give us some lovely, lovely, delicious wax. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.